everybody! Welcome! We're the Knights of the Drunk Watch, and we are here for our regularly scheduled movie night Mondays, where we review a movie that you may or may not have seen that came out this last weekend, and we tell you how we feel about it, if you should watch it, and exactly how many drinks you need to get through it. Yep. So, all the feels. to introduce, first of all, this week we have... I am Kate. I'm Thomas. And I'm Audie, your regularly scheduled host for now. Uh, we You're are fired. <laughs> we are the Knights of the Drunk Watch, and, and now, now our talk begins. begins. Not okay, guys, uh, before we get started with this movie review, I just want you guys to go right up here above Thomas's lovely head and click on our poll for next week um, so that we can... <laughs> Touch it, Daddy. So that we can uh, pick of the three movies that you want us to see next week. Those three choices are um, Dark Phoenix, which I'm super excited about, Late Night, which looks like it's going to be fun with Emma Thompson and Mindy Kalin, and Poppy Chulo, uh, something that's definitely going to probably be divisive i'm feeling like there's gonna be a lot of divisiveness about that movie so go ahead and click up there and vote um and let's get started not much but so we went to see the imax not 3d version yes. mm -hmm. and i will say that it was super good Real fucking loud. <laughs> scared oh the my shit god! Out of I this kept my jumping so much I scared the children on my left because <laughs> I kept being like, "Oh my god!" So how do you feel? Um, because like, clearly we've been talking about this whole Kong thing. I don't know if many of you know that Kong Skull Island is part of this now monster universe that they're do you apparently want to explain creating. The progression of this. This yeah. is the third of the. So movies. going into the movie, I'm like, "Oh, you haven't seen any of the recent movies." I was like, "This is you were going into the." third movie and basically a what's going to be i think a five movie set yeah or whatever and you haven't At seen least. any of them so the 2014 film godzilla by gareth edwards and then kong skull island uh were all related and had background and setup building to this one so this was a direct sequel do you want to watch the end credits because the end credits give a lot of uh like what's gonna happen next just like the credits they give a lot of foreshadowing there news articles and stuff about what happens after this movie in in build up for the next one and then there is a scene at the end that gives us build up for the fifth movie there's a is because going into a movie like this i again have not seen the movie this week but going into a movie like this i want to see a whole bunch of action do you guys feel like the percentage of action was higher than the percentage of people dealing with their emotions 60 percent action i would say Okay. Just like I mean, forty percent of the of the movie was me like jumping. So <laughs> yeah, sixty percent again. Very loud movie, but I, it was it was so much action. And you were talking so, money for. I don't think I would have been nearly as jumpy if it wasn't so fucking loud. Mm -hmm. No, I mean it, it. It was amazing. The sound was great. Uh, the music was a lot of callback to the original scores, not just for Godzilla, but then all the other monsters that were in there. That was fantastic. And when you could pick up a little bit of the original score, that was amazing. Uh so what I want to know from you guys is how many uh, shots you feel like it takes to get through the movie. Don't forget, more shots means the movie's really crappy, so you got to be real drunk to get through it. So, Kate, first. How I think one... I mean, I don't think, since it was so action-packed, I don't think you need a lot of drinks to get through it, a lot of shots to get through it. I think, like, you know, one to sip on throughout the whole thing, and you're probably good. If you Yeah, don't. I'd say one shot to start it, and then there's one scene in the, towards the third act, beginning of the third act of the movie, where uh, Dr. Sirizawa does something, and yeah, that's a shot moment for yeah. you right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So there you go. Great movie. Go see it. Please comment below if you have seen it. We want to hear your thoughts and ideas. Thank you for joining us this week on Movie Night Mondays. Uh, we are the Knights of the Drunk Watch. And now, now our, our talk, talk has ended. ended. <laughs> Before we leave.